Kira. What's wrong? It'll pass. That took a great deal of power. If you can't go on... You can't leave me here. I'd never do that. Hmm. <laughs> Love to be able to say we can stay here a while and rest. I know. I know. We must go on. Uh, they blocked the passage. Maybe I can try. Leave it to me. Never have managed without me, would you? He awaits us.
Above all, beware the witches of Crookback Bog. Try to reach the place where last we were together. Where last we were together, not much to go on. Damn it. Perhaps it's best he didn't leave a clearer message. The Wild Hunt broke in here, surely they saw the projection. They searched everything. And if they had more time, they'd probably have torn the place to the ground. But that doesn't change the fact that we haven't learned anything. Not about the Elf, not about Ciri. Well, we know they were well acquainted, and traveling together. The Witches of Crookback Swamp. Crookback Bog. Kira, if you're hiding something... But... I didn't say... You know these witches? I've never met them, but I've read of them. In an old manuscript I found in one of the huts in the village. It mentions the village witches venturing into Crookback Bog at times, to liaise between the villagers and the crones, the ladies of the wood. The crones appear to be intolerant of outsiders, but they help the local folk. Apparently, they stop the spread of the plague in Velen. Hmm. What's your take on this? I'd love to shrug it off as the nattering of so many old women, yet throughout my first fortnight in Velen, I had horrible nightmares. Something was calling me out into the swamps. One night, I decided to enter the dream consciously, render it lucid. I confronted the thing directly. It broke contact at once. Peaceful nights ever since. How do I find them? The swamps are vast, dangerous, but they say the crones mark the way for peasants who wish to visit them. The manuscript mentions a chapel in Crookback Bog, and from that chapel one must follow a trail of treats. Treats? Of course. They didn't read you bedtime stories at Caermorhen. All normal folk know that witches live in gingerbread houses poised atop chicken legs. I'll have to see that to believe it. Take the tome and read it. I... I truly do believe you'll find your Cirilla. All right, then. As a start, let's look for a way out of here. Good idea. Why do we even come? Strange. My medallion's trembling, but there's nothing here. What's with this wall? It's an illusion. I sensed it as well. I expected we might run into such things, so I brought this. Meaning what? The Eye of Nahalani. It dispels illusions. It's easy enough to build, so you're welcome to this one. It's bound to come in handy. And each time it does, you will think of me. Huh. Thanks. See where the passage leads. Do you feel that? A flow of fresh air from the left must be an exit that way. Good. Let's get out of here. Wait, there's still the magic lamp. The magic what now? Lamp. The elf promised it to me in exchange for my help. And since his return here seems doubtful, I must retrieve it myself. If I can find it, that is. Will you help?
Yeah, I'll help. Splendid. Come then. Gavella Glan. We're certain to find something here. <laughs> Looks like another damned riddle to me. Translate the inscription. I can decipher maybe a third, but that third doesn't make much sense. Give me a minute. I was never any good at the high variant of the Elder Speech. Hmm. All right. This might seem a bit literal. I'm afraid I can't replicate its sophisticated internal rhymes. Just translate it to make sense. Four guardians, four flames. Standing proud in a line, the first to light his fire dared not march on the end. The second, by the first, played a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet like the second played a tune. And thus they stood o'er their queen, who slept beneath flickering stars. <laughs> Sounds like a riddle, all right. All right, let's see if we can solve this. to his faithful beast. four flames standing proud in a line. The first, to light his fire, dared not march on the end. The second, beside the first, played a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet like the second played a tune. And thus they stood o'er their queen, who slept beneath flickering stars. Again. Four guardians, four flames, standing proud in a line. The first, to light his fire, dared not march on the end. The second, beside the first, played a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet like the second played a tune. And thus they stood o'er their queen, who slept beneath. There it goes! <laughs> a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside him. Let's 
figure out the order. What do you think? No inscription, sadly. Hmm, sign of the gull. If I didn't already know where she was buried, I'd guess this is Laura Doran's sepulcher. Perhaps it's a monument to her. Can't see the elves commemorating her this way. Heroine of a tragic legend to some, but... Most see her as a traitor to her race, who got her just desserts for marrying Kragenin of Laud. Perhaps the elven mage is Lara's kin. It would explain why he's helping Siri. Possible. This what you're looking for? Uh-huh. So what's it supposed to do? Hmm. I hope I'll be able to activate it. Let's leave this place, shall we? We going? I ought to use it. Oh, at last. But it was worth it, right? You learned something about Siri in the end. Something important. Do you intend to venture into Crookback Bog? You must tell me about it afterwards. Don't know that I'll get the chance. Geralt, there are two types of men. Those who see opportunity and take advantage, and those who forge the opportunities themselves. I've always seen you as an example of the latter. Besides, I've a favor to ask you. So, visit me sometime? Try. In that case, I shall be waiting. See you, Kira.